Hey guys, Jim Rose here with Sound Pro Live. For those of you that don't know me, I have a column here doing some videos and stuff for Bill uh, that's based around solutions for real world problems in the audio world that, that we all run into. Uh, I also have, I have a company called RPM Dynamics that's based around the same thing. We've been doing videos showing some of the stuff that RPM and myself work with here on uh, Sound Pro Live. Uh, some of these solutions, uh, they range all the way from uh, record solutions for digital consoles, uh, Midas Pro Series like you see here. Uh, we have now a 72 channel record options that weren't available in 96K that is now available to our market, which is pretty cool. You know, it's great to be able to do that many channels as a count that's an affordable option. Uh, that the solutions I'm coming up with, or I try to come up with anyways and share with everybody, range all the way from there to really simple things like I'm going to show you today. Uh, one of the things I'm going to show you today is something that came about uh, early last year. I was working on uh, SC48 case that we've actually done another video on SoundPro Live about. That was I wanted to figure out a way to do a case that would uh, supply efficiency on my gig for me. So I built a case that had my SC48 along with a, a, a late contour and a Tascam CD burner shock mounted below it in the case so that when I showed up and I tipped my console, I could have everything like this up and running in the same time it would take to normally set up just an SC48. I got this to all work, but one of the one of the things I ran into that I saw as a problem in putting that case together was how was I going to keep the IAC cores from falling out of the units underneath the, the console. I have access panels to get to them, but it doesn't change the fact that when you tip your console and you need your gear to turn on, it's not any good if you're there and it doesn't work. Uh, I was looking for a solution and I came up with one. Today we're going to show you that solution. It's not wrapping electrical tape around the end of the connector. It's not tie wrapping or mounting the cord so this kind of jammed in the hole. What it is though is a box of 97 cents conventional 20 cent pitcher hooks, 20 pound pitcher hooks from Home Depot. This little box of 97 cent items, five units you can IAC lock your gear in place. We're going to show you how to do that. So guys what we're going to be doing here is we're taking a, a simple 20 cent pitcher hanger here and we're going to be converting it into an IAC lock. As you can see we've already got on one side of this rack mount unit. The assembly to it is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to just take my bent needle nose here and we're going to straighten this bracket out. Get rid of the bends that were in it prior. So now we've got a, a hook with both of the, the cut marks out of it and we're going to cut this off right after the first hole that's been cut in this. So we get this taken care of here, we're going to take the needle nose and we're just going to enlarge the hole. Pretty simple to do it this way. Once we get the hole bigger, I've been taking a standard drill and putting a little bit of a bevel on this just for the units that you have that have a, uh, a countersunk bit in them. From there we're going to take this bracket, we're going to rebend it after the hole that's in it. Then we're going to take this bracket here, keep it going. and we're going to insert the, the existing screw that was in the unit into the center of it. Sometimes it takes a little finagling. And then we're going to screw this back on to the back of the unit using the existing screws that were there. We'll take this and bend this one back out. As you can see right now we've got two mounts around the side of our IEC bracket. From there, if you just take a standard IEC bracket cord, you can plug the cord into the hole you can bend these brackets out here, take a tie wrap, there you go, 20 cent IAC hook. Next time you need to service your gear, the nice thing about this Here's your service. Okay guys, Jim Rose of Sound Pro Live here. Hope this is something you can find useful. 20 cent IAC hook. Plug it in. 
tie wrap. Cut it off. There you have it. Thanks guys and uh, you can check out stuff like this. Uh, we'll be po uh, These videos are all posted up on Sound Pro Live now. Got a couple of other cool things that are up here. You can also find stuff uh, on my website www.rpmdynamics.com We've got some stuff that's uh, slowly getting built up on top of that. But uh, stay tuned with Sound Pro Live. We'll have more coming for you. There's a lot of other great video bloggers that have some cool stuff going on too. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.